There was a point in time, 1,000 years ago, when you knew about all the movies coming out in advance. There, there wasn't a overwhelming amount that somehow slips under the radar every month. Now things are different. Now it's hard to even know when films will release, what app they'll release on, and if that movie's even worth your time to watch. A great example that just happened to me last night is finding out The Last Duel was on HBO Max. I had no idea. Uh, there was like no notification, it just unceremoniously showed up. And honestly, because it just hit theaters like a couple weeks ago, I didn't think it was the actual Last Duel film with Matt Damon and Adam Driver. I, I thought it was like a, a fake version, you know how there's the the like copycat movie that changes the title just a little bit. This was the actual movie though and I was excited because I missed seeing it in theater so I had the opportunity to watch it. I'll have that review coming shortly. This kind of thing is happening all the time though and it sucks. Yes, on one hand it's awesome that there's tons of great content still being made but on the other hand, how do you find it? I don't even know. Thankfully, a sponsor reached out to me and yeah, we got a sponsored video here. I almost never do sponsored content on this channel because I don't have any interest in the people that are reaching out to me. But when someone from Likewise reached out and said, hey Adam, we have a solution to your problem, I thought, okay, I'm in. Let's find out what you have to say. So I downloaded the app on my phone. I played around with it a little bit and I was actually pleasantly surprised with the outcome. I was getting recommendations to movies I didn't even know existed, TV shows, and it kind of works how you think. You set up a profile quickly, you pick the category of movie you're interested in or TV show, and from there they give you some great recommendations. This was me a few days ago, wearing the same shirt. Yeah, pretty sad. This is definitely footage that wasn't filmed 10 minutes earlier. What I'm doing right now is settling. After spending 20 minutes on Netflix searching for something new or interesting to watch, I've gone back into a favorite. Inevitably, I pass out on the couch after being exhausted from my vigorous search. But that all changed when I downloaded the app. Look at this guy setting up his profile. He couldn't be happier. Not only does the app recommend movies, TV shows, podcasts, books, but it also has fellow movie lovers putting in the work for it. There's a daily recommendation tab. There's people making posts on videos and topics they like. You can set up your own private community of friends. I'm Adam Does Movies on there if you're interested in joining up. It's free, it's 100% free. And I like that you can just easily bookmark the recommendations, swipe left, move on with your day, and have something to watch that night when you get home. Or during the day when you're not working like you're supposed to be. They'll never find out, unless they watch this video. One of the little suggested bullet points Likewise wanted me to say is, it's like Tinder, but for movies. I don't want to say that likewise because I'm a happily married man. Here's the call to action, the CTA for short, if you must. In the description, there's a link to open the Likewise app on your phone, on your mobile device. You can do that. You can get the app. You can follow me. You can friend me on, on uh, Likewise, and we'll be movie friends, okay? That, that's a promise. That's a promise from me to you. If you don't want to do this, fair enough. You can continue to roam aimlessly through the wasteland that is streaming services. Had I had this app a few days earlier, I probably would have known The Last Duel was out sooner than I did. I wouldn't have been surprised. People would have told me via a post or I would have got a daily recommendation from the app itself. So there's the elevator pitch for the app. Let's talk a little bit more about this streaming service fiasco. The massive complaint I have with these streaming services that I haven't brought up previously is the timing. The fact that stuff can be there one day and then just vanish the next. That's the risk I have with Spotify too. It's a great service that I've loved for years, but there's nothing worse than we you have created, when you have curated the perfect playlist, and some of those songs just up and up and vanish, without a trace. When are they coming back? I don't know, are they coming back? Who the hell knows? They went out for cigarettes. Awesome, Seinfeld's on Netflix. I own all the DVDs, but that's just a waste of time to swap the five or six episode discs out. Now I have it all right here. I can't wait to go through all nine seasons and it's gone. Oh, what, it's on Peacock now? So now I have to get that app? Now it's back on Netflix? What is happening? And I swear these crappy movie studios have signed some sort of a shady deal where timed movies will just vanish right when you know they're gonna be watched. For instance, Halloween comes around. It's amazing how many of those classics just up and vanish. Oh, cool, the Halloween movies. I remember that those are on Amazon Prime. No, they're not because Halloween's right around the corner. Oh, Christmas is here. I can't wait to watch Elf and Home Alone and why do I have to pay $19.95 for Christmas with the Cranks? Better question. Why am I wanting to watch Christmas with the Cranks? 
it's a quandary. We don't own anything anymore. And of course you can say, well, Adam, that's why I pirate everything or that's why I, you know, buy the Blu-ray still. Or, you know, the Blu-ray doesn't last forever, friends. People were saying that when VHS came out. That's why I own the VHS copy. Do you now? Do you still own the VHS copy? How's that look? How's that look on your 4K TV? Blu-ray will inevitably become irrelevant. It's already kind of getting there. We have 8K streaming in some places. So this is the world we're in. We don't truly own anything. Or if we do, it's most likely gonna be obsolete in a few more years. Like my Seinfeld and Scrubs DVD collections downstairs. Sure glad I paid $60 for each and every season of Gilmore Girls for my wife. That was a great investment. So finding things and having ownership of said thing is a major problem in the streaming industry. One that we, I don't think we'll ever really resolve. This is just where we're at now. The best part is I own movies on different platforms. Like some of them are on Apple TV. What's even better is I own random movies on different apps. A lot of them are on Amazon Prime, some are on Apple TV, and then like one or two are on Sony. Like via the PlayStation. What am I gonna do with these? How am I gonna find these? I think I said all I need to say on this topic now. I've covered it a couple times. It is infuriating though when you can't find anything to watch because either A, you don't know where to look or B, it's overwhelming. I wanna give a shout out to the Likewise app again. Details in the description to download. Streaming services, what a magical experience, huh? All right, thanks for watching the video. Like it if you had a good time. Subscribe if you haven't. I post weekly content here on the channel and Hopefully I'll see you next time. Speaking of streaming services and the gift that keeps on giving, Netflix just sent me an email saying, we're up in your price two more dollars a month. I can't wait until we finally get to the point where we're paying more than cable TV ever was. Anyway, if you want to offset my $2 cost per month, maybe join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or right here via YouTube's join button. You can become a member that way as well. Take care.